With the new Far Cry game coming up soon, a totally new world is presented to us in Kairat. In this world, a whole load of new opportunities are given to us, whether it be in encounters with all new types of enemies, or just navigating about. My name is Stanley Wonderland, and today I will be briefly talking about the new world within Far Cry 4, and what will possibly become available in the world itself. So where does Kairat relate to us in the world we know today? Kairat is a fictional location based in the Himalaya mountains. This is where the majority of the quests and whatnot will be undertaken in the main story of Far Cry 4. So what sort of terrain can we expect to encounter on our adventure there? Well, we have seen from the E3 gameplay trailer a surprisingly amount of grassland, along with some very rocky mountainous areas, but what have been properly shown more recently at Gamescom is the snowy summits of the landscape. You'll have to keep your eyes and ears peeled when you're up there though, because you'll most definitely encounter dangerous enemies and ferocious avalanches. These mountains, like the ocean around the island within Far Cry 3, will replace the map borders, but trust me, you won't be bothered when you see how dense the world is. Remember the assassination side missions in Far Cry 3? They're back, with major similarities. You have to, as before, kill the commander with the weapon you're told to by your objective and escape with your life, which is where the twist comes in. You're mostly going to be on top of the high mountains, so you can't just jump in a jeep and drive away. Oh no. You have to glide down in a wingsuit, which isn't too trivial, unless you've had plenty practice. For the size of the Far Cry 4 map is concerned, it is about as big as the one in Far Cry 3. But it will be a lot denser, which means there will be a lot more cool things to shoot and quests to do in a smaller radius, which is always better, right? In games with bigger maps, it is fun exploring, but when there isn't that much to do in it, well, it can get a bit boring. But this map has all the stuff needed to make your Far Cry 4 experience amazing. Thanks for joining me on this quick overview on the world of Kairat. There is also a mythological dreamlike world which will be featuring in the game. It is known as Shangri-La, which you may have heard before. If you want me to cover what that's all about in Far Cry 4, please do tell me in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stally111. See you guys on the next one.